Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Divid and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to take your voice recordings to the next level using Audacity. I'll be giving you five simple but powerful tips that you can use to improve your audio quality. These tips will be very easy to follow with no experience required. So stick around because by the end of this video, I promise you, you'll be sounding like a pro. So with that said, the very first tip I want to talk about is a very basic or fundamental tip and that is of microphone selection and placement. Now it should be pretty obvious guys that to have good quality audio, you need to invest in a decent quality mic. I'll provide a recommendation of the mic that I personally use if you wanna check that out. And once you have a good mic, the next thing is to make sure that you place it about six to 12 inches in front of your face. And this is a good distance because it allows your voice to come out clear and not being too loud or too muffled. So those are some of the things that you wanna make sure you have set up before actually creating your recording. So once you have your microphone and placement set up in front of you, the next step I want to talk about is how you can remove your background noise from your audio recording. Now to show you how we can implement this, what I'm going to do is actually record a dummy recording on Audacity and then play it back for you together so that we can go ahead and further improve it. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay guys, so this is our dummy recording. If you notice the first four seconds of this recording were blank, I did that on purpose to make sure we capture any background noise so that we can remove it in our Audacity recording. So let me just go ahead and press the stop button over here. So if I go ahead and actually play the start of this recording, let's just go ahead and do that right now. Okay guys, so this is our dummy recording. If you notice the first so we can see that the first four seconds over here, it has a bit of static noise, right? So this over here is our background noise that I'm going to go ahead and actually remove. So let me just go ahead and once again play it for you so you know what it sounds like. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove that. And we're going to do that by going ahead and actually selecting the white space or the place where we have the background noise. And we're going to go to the effect option over here. And then in the effect option, we're going to select noise removal and then noise reduction. So we're going to go ahead and actually get this noise profile and then go ahead and select the entire audio clip and then go back to effect and then go back to our same setting over here for noise reduction and then go ahead and actually apply it. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. And let me just go ahead and actually put this in logarithmic so you see it better. And now if I go ahead and play this exact same recording, we should see a bit of an improvement. Okay guys, so this is our dummy recording. If you know, so we can see that now the static noise has completely gone or significantly reduced. And that is how we can go ahead and take away our background noise. So once we've done that, the next tip I want to talk about is how we can use the compressor tool to reduce the dynamic range of your audio. Now this means that you can lower the volume of loud sounds and raise the volume of quieter sounds, making the overall volume more consistent. So what I'm gonna do over here is go back to the effect option right here press this compression option and press compressor. And then over here with our threshold, we wanna make sure that it's between minus 15 and minus 18. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it at minus 15 and press the apply option. So once we've applied that, we can see that over here now that our volume has actually increased and it's more consistent. So if I just go ahead and play a section of this very quickly, we can see that it sounds like this. Okay guys, so this is our dummy recording. If you notice the first four seconds of this recording, so we can see that it sounds a lot more crisp and loud. All right, so that's very good. So once we have that done, the next thing I want to talk about is how we can add a bit of bass and a bit of treble to our voice to make it sound a bit more professional and rich. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead and actually select the entire piece of audio again and go back to our effect option. And then over here, go to our EQ and filters, select bass and treble. And then over here, you can go ahead and play around with how you want it to sound and then preview it. I usually have it just at six. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that up right now. And once you have your bass and treble set up to what you like it to, you can press the apply option. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and see what it sounds like by pressing again over here and playing it. So let's just do that right now. Okay guys, so this is our dummy recording. If you notice the first four seconds of this recording, so we can see that there's definitely a bit more bass and treble to my recording, which is great. And it sounds a lot more professional. So once we have our treble and bass selected, the next thing I want to talk about is how we can normalize our audio. Now the normalize effect on Audacity basically adjusts the overall volume of your audio so that it doesn't sound very distorted if you're loud. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and select the entire option over here, go to effect once again, and then go over here to volume and compressor, 
and then once again select normalize and then over here just press the apply option. If you select minus 5 dB over here, you're basically telling Audacity that anything over minus 5, you want to go ahead and clip that. So I'm just going to go ahead and press apply. And once we do that, we can see over here that the height or the length of the Audacity clips have come down a bit, which means that it's a little less distorted. And if I play this clip once again, it should sound a bit better. Okay guys, so this is our dummy recording. If you notice, the first 4 seconds of this recording were blank. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. Now once we have our audio normalized, the last thing I want to talk about is how we can remove any loud or unnecessary breathing noises. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and press the zoom option over here to show you exactly where we have these breathing noises. So if I play, for example, this section right here, we can see that we'll hear a breathing noise here and over here. So let me just go ahead and play that background noise so that we can remove it in our Audacity recording. So we can see that over here that this noise right here is a breathing noise. Let me just go ahead and play that again. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove that. So to remove that, you're going to go ahead and press the effect option over here. And then over here under volume and compression, we're going to select amplify. And we're going to basically say that this particular noise is going to be at a minus 40 amplification. So we're basically muting it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and press that in there. And we can see that it's gone completely. Similarly, I can apply that over here also. Choose that section and just press the control R or command R option. And by doing that, you can go ahead and repeat the amplification. And once we do that, we can go ahead and replay this audio recording. Purpose to make sure we capture any background noise so that we can remove it in our Audacity recording. So, let me so we can see that now the breathing noise is gone and it sounds a lot more crisp and clear. So on that note, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found these five tips easy to implement and informative. And if you did, then go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.